is Wayne Phillips, and I was born uh, August 20, 1943, in Smithfield, North Carolina. When I was about 13 years old, we had a terrible accident in our family that took the life of my grandmother, and it kind of got our attention. We started attending church, and it was a very good church, very strong youth ministry, and that kind of got me in. One day the pastor asked me if I was a Christian, and I kind of put it off and ran, but the next Sunday I became a Christian. I don't remember the exact date or the message. And then after that, I was baptized, and in those days in the South, uh, the churches didn't have uh, many baptistries, and so we went out to one of the farmer's uh, farms, and we were baptized in a uh, farm pond. Matter of fact, we had to run some of the animals out of the farm pond to get in to be baptized. But the church was really uh, strong with young people, and a lot of the young people had uh, felt a call of God in their life. And after a while, I, I began to feel that God calling me to do something. I had an abiding conviction, and so I told my pastor, and he was very helpful, even though. I was very introverted, not able to talk much, and uh, he began to work with me. And I came forward one Sunday and announced that uh, I had been called to preach. And our pastor's wife was the uh, teacher of the youth class. And one of her favorite sayings was that a call to serve is a call to prepare. And so I was the first person in my family to ever go to college. And I went to a Bible college and. Uh, got an education there, and got into the ministry. As soon as uh, my wife and I got married, we got married one Sunday in October, and then the next Sunday we started full-time pastoring. And uh, I've just finished up 50 years in the ministry. And of course, in that 50 years, it's an enormous amount of change. It's an enormous amount of change of what churches have to present their services with. Uh, when I first started preaching, we didn't even have microphones or, or speakers. And now we have all the modern technology. I've been pastoring 50 years. I started in 1964. A lot of changes. One of the biggest changes is the technology that the churches have to use today. Another change is the fact that a lot of churches are trying to de-church the church, take the word church out and trying to not have churches. And then the loyalty of the people. Used to, when you'd get saved, you would um, stay in the church you died, but now people move around and there's not the loyalty to help keep the church operating and pay the bills that they used to. And so basically this is some of the largest changes that I've seen. 